Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. It is August 2nd, 2022, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is. Um, I think it's afternoon. I'm sure you guys will tell me. I should have looked before I started this, but I did not. I was afraid to touch my phone. I'll probably mess it up. Anyway, um, it's a nice day out. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a nice day out, nice and uh, uh, sunny, um, still busy uh, rearranging rooms. Today we actually moved my art table and stuff <clears throat> into the new art studio, along with some craft stuff. I, I got everything ready last night, and so it's going to give me so much more room in my actual bedroom, even with my exercise equipment. That'll be very nice. I'm excited about that. I did ride my bike yesterday. I love this bike. Um, I'll have to look and see. I got it off of, of Amazon. It's called an Extreme... Dream... Wait. Expert Light. And it's um, got an extra wide seat, padded seat. It's a magnetic... Um, bike so it's very unlike traditional bikes with the chain and stuff this is extremely smooth so you don't get that kind of jerking motion and so that's really nice on your knees so Brad even uses it so and he'll come to my room and use it when he wants uh, but I really enjoy that bike I really do it's good for for me overall so um, Got my resistance bands ready last night also. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited. So I'm going to keep doing that. <clears throat> Been having a few more issues with the depression. Um, not going to lie. Uh, every time I think I'm okay, then uh, I kind of, I don't know, I feel like I almost backslide. When you're grieving and stuff, that's the big component. Trying to get over this thing of, of not being, not getting to say goodbye to my father or anything has really, really affected me. And just the pure hatred and evilness of uh, my mother and brother. It just, it amazes me. I just, you know, you figure, you're like, why? But, um, you know, only they could explain that. But, uh, so still dealing with that and um uh i'm doing a video okay and uh but i'm getting through it i have brad i talked to brad a lot even like last night late late last night i was feeling pretty down and stuff you know i i did my crying yesterday and and uh i'm sure you're tired of seeing me cry <laughs> you know no, you're used to it. You like it. I'm just, you know what? I'm just really glad, sweetie, that uh, that uh, you don't try to keep that all bottled up. No, I can't. I did that for years, and yeah. it doesn't get you anywhere. And like no. I said, with the, being a diabetic and coming to terms with that, I think a lot of us really struggle when we're first are diagnosed. And um, but then you. Uh, uh, Oh, well, they changed the packaging. This. Andy ointment. On Amazon. Good price. Lasts a long time. I'll use it on, like, um, as a moisturizer on my legs. I'll use it on the animals. Um, like if they get a hot spot or something. Because it'll, it's, it won't hurt them, but it stops them from licking it excessively. You know, um... You know, I'll use it on jelly. So, it's a great... This will last me well over six months. So, yeah. You know. Yep. So, anyway, that's what... Oh, so, right. Candy. Um, that's an even bigger draw than I had before. So, that's nice. Um, so, yeah, still dealing with that. Coming to terms with that. I feel like they took away my right to say goodbye to my father. 
all of the years that we, um, it was just him and I, and I mean, I was like his shadow, I mean, I helped him work on cars, yard work, uh, painting other people's houses, re-roofing other people's houses, I mean, you know, all the fishing trips, um, my friend Kathy was talking about camping as a kid, and I remembered, uh, you know, we would go camping a lot, and uh, we just had an old camper. It didn't have any running water or bathroom or anything. Um, but we would go camping a lot, and it would just be my dad and I around the campfire. My mother and brother would just stay in the camper all the time. Um, a lot of good memory. Early morning coffee. We started... I know he used to work at Getty Oil, and so he had to get up super early, and he made a game of it. He set me up on a counter, and, uh, you know, he's fixing me coffee, too, which was mainly milk and sugar. But, boy, did I feel important. I loved those mornings. You felt like a grown-up. Yeah. yeah. And I felt like somebody cared. Yeah. Um, you know, he would sneak um, clean bedding, and I told you guys about... Um, the bedding wasn't allowed to be changed. He would sneak in clean bedding sometimes. Um, so I didn't have to sleep on a whip. Very smelly bedding. So I'll be okay. It just, it'll take some time. I don't think I've ever been so hurt in my whole life. Like I said, the amount of pure hatred. And not even knowing why. But, I mean. And do you ever feel like. You don't know where you fit in in life. All of a sudden you get to be a certain age. I was always mainly a housewife and mother. You know. I always think it's weird that you say housewife. I wasn't the house's wife. You know. <laughs> but, you know. I took a lot of pride in that. I've always been very, very family oriented. But now, I don't feel like I fit in anywhere. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, who I'm supposed to be. Only thing I know for now is I need to get healthier, which I'm working on. And, um, bread making lunch, so. Sorry, I'm trying to be quiet. No, that's okay, honey. Okay. But. He's making tuna salad. We're going to have tuna salad. Um, but. Just. Not feeling like you fit in anywhere. No. Heavy top tic top ticks? <laughs> Topics. Sorry. Didn't mean to get into all that. But it's on what's on my mind. And I'm always just kind of straightforward that way. Today is an exciting day. On to bigger and better things. Um, you know, that will all have to sort itself out in my head in time. Uh, like I said, we're moving, we're moving, putting my table in my art studio. We have to move the bed. Um, and, uh, cause I, I like to be able to look out a window when I'm working. So, I'm going to be doing that and um, setting that up. And I'm very excited about that very excited to me to have a workspace that I can even just go in and shut the door when I'm done because you know you have your pieces out and you're working on them and then you can just leave it and sometimes you think about that painting and you walk back in the room because you know you think your painting is just a major load of crap right now and you walk back in the room and you're like huh not as bad as I thought or it'll Maybe you're stuck on a painting or a piece that you're creating and all of a sudden it clicks on you what to do next. Sometimes you get stuck and you're looking at a painting and you're like, I don't know what to do next. You know, I don't usually like any of my work until about the last five minutes. Maybe. I was <laughs> working the piece and I'm like, okay. You know, so um, it will be so nice to have that though. And I can sew in that room. I can do have all my craft stuff in there, um, you know, that'll be really nice. And then Brad will have a nice area to, uh, you know, hit bed and uh, uh, 
his his equipment and stuff. Cause he does part of his stuff out here. Uh, his jewelry making he does out here. Um, we didn't get a chance to show you guys. He brought out it was his first step on the rock tumbling. But boy, some of those pieces were very pretty. What else? Um, my blood glucose has been a little high the last couple of mornings, so um, I have to assess what I'm doing. I will back way off of the insulin because my numbers were low. And I might have backed off too much because, see, I wasn't taking anything in the daytime. So, you know, 137 is very high for me uh, anymore, so I have to really watch that. I know I'm not overeating or anything or eating too many carbs. I absolutely know that. So, um... I don't know what else there really is to say. Like I said, Thursday his mattress comes in. So, assuming maybe the mattress would come in later that day. So, they want you to do three days of letting it fully inflate. So, we're talking Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, by Sunday evening, right? Yeah. You should be able to sleep in on his new mattress at the very latest Monday. You know, we want to make sure and let it fully inflate. So, um, that's about what I've been doing. Um, let's see, trying to sh how I can show you guys. This is a piece I'm working on. I, cause I got my illuminating in back. But this is the piece I'm working on right now that I'm, I'm making for my friend Carol. Just because, you know, she's one of my very good friends and I wanted to, she loves pink, so I wanted to make this for her. I have just this part done and then some of this so yeah but i'm slowly working on it i'm enjoying it this is on um you can pick up these light boards for the for the diamond painting uh 10 to 15 dollars that's what this is and let's see see it really does make a difference uh to read the numbers when you're working on it it just shuts up so for those of you that wondered um so, yeah, that's what I'm working on a little bit. I have that out here now. Um, so I guess that's about it. Brad and I were talking about those. This one thing, it's sad. And I know I sound very elderly with saying this, but I feel very sad for the younger generation because they don't seem to really know how to have a conversation. It's too easy just to delete somebody. Back in our day, you had to have a relationship with somebody face-to-face. -face, and you weren't going to just really do them dirty because, um, you know, you were all in the same community. And you wouldn't want them going around telling people that you did something horrible. Um, anymore, though, it's just all electronics and, you know... I always wonder why you walk through a place holding a cell phone, cell phone instead of conversating with the people around you. You meet some of the most fascinating people by just a random conversation with a random stranger because you happen to both be in a waiting room or you happen to both be standing in line for something. You know, that's how you form friendships and stuff. You meet somebody that's like, hey, you know, she's really similar to me. Uh, so, I feel sad for the younger generation. I really do. Uh, like I said, so many of the school things are going by the wayside, too. Like, cursive and Pledge of Allegiance. And, uh, it was something else you were telling me the other day was they weren't going to do at school anymore. I'm trying to remember what that was. My, one of my daughters had a hard time, harder time in school, and she had a hard time learning how to count. Um, and we approached a teacher about it. We're very concerned. I was working with her in the evenings on it and stuff. And she was like, well, I wouldn't worry about too much of calculators. We approached another teacher about the fact that our daughter could not read a normal clock. And she, the response was, well, you know, they have digital clocks, so I really wouldn't worry about it. And I'm like... You know, 
But I know you can do math pretty fast in our head. And we don't have to count on our fingers to do it. When you see people panic the minute that they might have to do any math. You know, they're scrambling to get that cell phone or, or pop up the, the um, uh, I mean, they're scrambling to get a, a calculator or they're searching on their cell phone for their built-in calculator. It's like, you just can't sit there and add and subtract or count back money. Now, back in our day, <laughs> you were taught to count back money. When you gave change back, you were at a register, you were taught to count back money, and you took a lot of pride in it. But there's an art to it. I get so sick of, like, you know, any store you're at, they just hand you the money now. They don't count it back. Then they get kind of irritated that you stand there and count it. And it's like, well, I have to count it because you didn't count it back to me, and I'm not just going to take your word when you hand me a wad of cash. I mean, please. It's not that hard to count back money. Have pride in your job. You know, have pride in your job. It just it amazes me. Amazes me. So, Can I add something to that? You may. Thank you. The, one of the things that really gets me, because um, so many years of my life, I have been completely and totally focused on customer service, mm -hmm. are the number of people that... Uh, um, when after after you um, complete your purchase, and they never say thank you. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Never say thank you. You know, in the times that like I've gone in, and uh, you know they complete the purchase, and I say thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Or not even a response. Mm -mm. It's like really. We were taught, you know, again, we were taught customer service that you were very polite and courteous. You know, I mean, I greet everybody that, that I come in contact with. If you're my checker or you're my, you know, uh, hostess or whatever, or my waitress or waiter at a restaurant. So why can't you do the same? Just, it's just, I... I want to cry over how society is, the violence and the prejudice and and the poor manners. And would it kill you to, if you text me, I'm not talking to any of my friends here, but you get people that won't type out like, how are you, it's H-R-U. You know, or is W-Y-D. What you doing? It's like, can't you type this out? You know, can you not type this out? I mean, please. We're not in high school here. I don't, you know, I could do a whole long sentence with just abbreviations too. But, you know, it's, a, it's I don't know, it's, there's an art to it. It's just, <sighs> I know I sound really old, but some days it's just like, what the heck are we doing? As a society. Just amazing. So, Anyway. I better get off here and get going on my stuff. So I hope you all are having a good day. And. Um, like I always tell you guys. That I love you guys. And I do cherish your friendship so very much. Um, please just keep. Keep being patient. I'm working hard on overcoming. You know. The devastation I feel over how I found out about my father and, you know, not getting a chance to. I wanted to talk to that man so bad, but I knew there was no way I could with with his wife and, and her child right there because it would just have caused a lot of friction, and I didn't want to do that. So and I kept hoping he would reach out. He just never did. So um, it is what it is, but, you know. Has greatly affected me. But we'll get through it. So anyway, I love you guys. And I do cherish your friendship so very much. And remember, do something nice for yourself. And then do something nice for somebody else. So we'll talk to you later. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.